Hello all, I am Dr. Gayatri, an educational therapist. I am the founder of Flourishing Kids and I work with kids having learning difficulties. Today we are going to see an important topic. Are you a parent who actively listens to your child? Yes, we always ask the child to listen to us. We always ask them to pay attention when we are talking. But are we listening to them? Yes. Let's see how we can listen to them so that they also become active listeners and it creates a special bond for the parents. Why it is very important we have to actively listen to the child? Talking and listening are equally important things. When the child is talking and we are listening engagingly, then the child can express themselves very freely and openly. It creates a special time where the child is all by herself or himself and opens up to us. It improves the bond between parent and the child. Always model what you expect from the child, right? What we are expecting, we have to model as a parent. Then it builds a child's self-esteem. It is very, very important that we make the child feel that. The child should be feeling that I am very important to my mom or dad. That's why they are paying attention to us. So now we understood why active listening is very important. Let's see how we have to listen actively when the child is talking with us. I am going to explain a method called SOLAR. Actually, this is a method used in counseling. So I think as a parent, we can also use this method. Jared again created this theory. SOLAR stands for first S. S stands for sit squarely. You have to sit in a position where we can actually see the child completely and the child is also able to see us completely. We sit in a place correctly at an angle. That is S. O. O stands for open. Please keep your arms and legs free and so the child doesn't feel so intimidated and they open up to us. Next one is L. Slightly lean. Okay, slightly lean, that means we try to pay attention to the child and we are only focusing on the child. Then E. E is for maintain eye contact. The eye contact should be intact and please remember the eye contact you are seeing the child and so the eye contact should be maintaining the child's eye level and you have to focus on that. R stands for relax. Be relaxed. Don't show your emotions on the face so that the child doesn't open up. Maybe if we are showing the angriness or sad on our face, the child doesn't open to us openly like whatever they want to say to us. So this is the method we can use. So we pay active attention to the child. This can be followed wherever we are, not only at home, wherever we go outside and the child is talking to. You can follow this accordingly with slight modifications. But the same method where we have to pay active attention to the child. And please remember don't use any mobile phones or just keep browsing your laptop or take a magazine or just be concentrating what is happening around you. Just focus to the child so that the child also understands better how to actively listen and we also know that we have to listen and we understand much more about our child once we start listening to them and children have got great ideas do remember that so let's start focusing more towards active listening for the child happy parenting